finding the area of a triangle. We're all familiar with the formula A equals one half base times height. And that works fine if you're given the base and the altitude of the triangle. What we're going to look at today is what happens if we're given, um, we're asked to find the area of side angle side triangles. So here we do not know the height, um, but we do, we are given a side angle side triangle. So we're given A, we're given gamma, we're given B. So what we want to do here is we're going to take the sine of gamma, which is going to be equal to the height opposite over the hypotenuse. Then we're going to go ahead and solve this for H. So H is going to be A times the sine of gamma. And then we're going to go ahead and plug this in to this formula up here. So we're going to have a formula A area is equal to one half the base times A times the sine of gamma. And that's going to be our formula that we would use in this situation right here. The other formulas um, can also be found similar A equals one half B times C times the sine of alpha. And finally the third one, A equals one half A times C times the sine of beta. So the theorem states basically the area of a triangle equals one half the product of two of its sides times the sine of their included angle. Two of the sides the included angle. So this is, you, you will use one of these three formulas if you're given two sides and the included angle and you're looking for the area of the triangle. So let's look at an example. Okay, so here we go. Here we're given two sides and the included angle. So if I was to draw this for you visual people out there like myself, We'd have A is 8, the included angle is 30, and then the other side is 6. So, so side, angle, side. Okay, and now if I wanted to find the area of this triangle, we're going to do the area equals, and we're going to do 1 half, and we want to do A times B, so 8 times 6 times the sine of gamma, which is 30. And you figure all of that out and you're gonna get an area of 12, 12 units squared. Okay, so these formulas work just fine for side, finding the area of side angle side triangles. Well, let's take a look at this one. If I wanna find the area when we're given side 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 we use Huron's formula. Huron's formula is A equals the square root of S and there's a little formula for calculating S and I'll show that to you in a moment. Okay, to figure out what, this is little s, not capital S. Little s is going to be equal to 1 half a plus b plus c. So we're going to need to do this little calculation first. So let's take a look at this example. Let's find out what s is. So let's plug in a, b, and c. So we'll just say that this is a um, b and c. So we're going to have 1 half 4 
plus 5 plus 7. So S equals, let's see, 16, so 8. Okay, now that we know what S is, we go ahead and plug it into this formula. Okay, and this is the calculation right here. All the way down to the square root of 96, simplify that. So the area is 4 radical 6 units squared. And so that's how you find the area when given side, side, side. Your assignment. So let's go back up here to the top. We're going to go to page, starting on page 552. We're going to do 5 through 25 odd. Okay, and heads up, we're going to start, we're going to take a test over this chapter on Thursday. So test on Thursday. Heads up. Be safe.